Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back. I am continuing work on this little this little folio type of thing. And the last time we did this, which was so much fun. And now we're going to work on this pocket. And so let's let me show you what Emily has and I have supplies kind of somewhat at the ready, not not to say I won't have to jump up and and do something, but these are the two pieces that Emily had in her um in her little pocket there. And so we're going to we're going to work with these as well. So, let's start with this one. And this one, this is fun. I had to I had to give this one a go. So, I've already made one which is this one. I just had such a good time with it. So, um, I made an extra. And so we'll decide which one we want in this book once we make another one. So we're going to make, we're going to do this one. Uh, it's a little bit different, um, a little bit different flashcard, but I think it'll be, I think it'll be good. Um, and I think maybe we'll go up here. So a little part of the flashcard shows. So I've got a little prom picture from June 1956. Isn't that fun? Um, just from a batch of pictures got at a, I think it was at an antique market or something. So I think first thing we're going to do is we're going to ink this. And because it's uh, craft colored, I'm going to use walnut stain because vintage photo that won't really show up too very much. So we're going to do that. And I think I'll do the back while we're at it. Um, yeah, I, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday for you, um, just a little bit ago for me, we did the other pocket and I just, I'm not ready to done. I'm not ready to done playing. <laughs> I'm really not. So we're going to play some more. Um, and I think that'll be, I think that'll be fun. We'll just, I'm just going to give that a little glue in the middle. And we're going to sew around it, but I really kind of just want it to stick so it's not sliding around, especially since it's that slippery old photo paper. Okay, so let's grab Mr. Sewing Machine over here. Got the pedal over here. Um, I'm going to do a zigzag like Emily did. And I'm going to just get going here. Oops, my bad. Push the wrong button. Excuse me, sewing machine. Okay, let's go. <laughs> This old photo is just the coolest. All right, so that is on there. Let's move the sewing machine back. I'm glad my shoulder's doing good so I can go back and forth with the sewing machine again. That was cramping my style. Okay, so we got that on there. And then she has this cute little Sally on this one. I found a, I think that's Dick and Jane. Um, but let's look in my little, I have this little folio thing that is, um, what it is, is all children's book pages. And so... Got a lot of Dick and Jane type things in here that I've just cut out. What I'm kind of thinking is I'm wondering about doing mom and dad here because this is kind of a prom picture. I 
I just don't know that they'll fit without covering up okay only one way to find out I got a fussy cut and if they don't fit we'll just we'll just do something else um, we can we can do a one of the little kids or something if it doesn't work I I just thought the couple would be kind of cool because it's a prom picture and I'm actually doing more little kids stuff in the folio so I might want to use the other one in the folio and just save this for something else guys if you can ever find these cutter bee scissors they are the best um, one of my quilting friends told me about them and they really are they're so good oh, shoot I think I don't know Maybe I do that. I don't really need their feet, right? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cute. That's just fine. Let's do that. We'll save this little guy for something else. The feet are going though. <laughs> Those are going in the trash. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> They're just, your feet are going in the trash. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking with this picture and Dick and Jane's mom and dad that um, we could maybe come up with some kind of really fun little phrase or something too. She's got remember to play here and I think I'm going to put mine up here just because of how this um, flashcard is laid out. So let's look. I have, um, did I leave that out from last time? Nope. Okay. Where's this thing of words. It's a Heidi Swap one. There's Remember This Forever. That would be cute. Um, you look so beautiful when you smile. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, I think maybe you look so beautiful when you smile. I think that'd be fun. Because she's not smiling there, but she is smiling there. <laughs> and so and so maybe dad is saying, you should smile more, mom. And mom's saying, I'm tired. I've been chasing Dick and Jane and Sally and Puff and Spot all over the place. <laughs> oh, I just tickle myself, don't I? <laughs> oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? Because... I just have that. I think I might like put a little bit of text or something behind it just so it's not just sitting there all on its own, you know? Ah, things are sticking to me. Wait a second. Yeah. I think I just needed to do that so it wasn't um, just floating. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> we did that. Then the other thing we need to do is, um, let's, oh gosh. Sorry, I'm standing on my head for a second trying to find where those stickers go. Um, I think then the next thing we need to do is put a little paper on the back so it can be written on there. And let's do, what do I have? A little piece of, got a little piece of um, coffee dyed paper here. I'm just going to put it within the the sewing then I just thought of something that I need to do that we didn't do on the um, one of the ones we did last time just thought of it but that's okay we can do it Okay, then we just need to put a little tab at the top is all. And I think I've already punched one out because I punched two when I did the other card just so I'd have it. Now finding it is the other thing. Oh, there we go, right there. Oh, look, that's fun. I like how it has a stamp right there. It's going to be upside down, but that's okay. Once again, what's so fun about this is I don't have to think really. I am just, I'm just following Emily's design and just creating my own version, but following her roadmap, if you will. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So now it's deciding which of these to use. I think I'm gonna use this one only because that cover photo is gonna be a little girl. And so, so this we'll use for something else. All good, all good. Okay, so I'll show you what I was thinking that I need to do on this that I didn't do. Um, on Emily, she traced around the little girls and I did not do that on my little boys. And I really think that will make them pop out a little more. So I'm going to do that real quick before I forget it again. <gasps> this pen is broken. Oh my gosh. Disaster. Disaster. We're going to pretend like this little boy is standing on some tar. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we need another pen. That one's going in the garbage. Because that's not good. Uh, this one. Okay, well, it, it could have been worse, I guess. Could have been worse. I really like that pen too. It's sad that it broke. <laughs> oh well. Okay, there's our little guy. That really grounds him though. I'm glad it didn't happen upon his head. <laughs> so we'll give that a little dry. Okay, now that's done. Oh my goodness. Alrighty then. Let's put this back in Emily's, put this back in mine, and now we can put this little guy, oh, I should show you the back too, I just did a little paper on the back, so those little guys will go there, which I have little guys here too, so that was kind of meant to be, I think. Okay, so our next thing is to do, is to do this which um, 
Emily. So kind. I have a coffee guide CD envelope from a tattered dream. And so this is what shows through that Emily has there um, on the inside. And she, she gave me a few of these. So I can decorate one up for this. So I'm going to put those back with that one. And I'll have them in my little folio from Emily. But we can decorate this little one. So I have tickets like she's got behind there. Um, my Tim Holtzy ones. Oh my gosh. Got things sticking together. Sticking together. I have lots of red tickets actually. But we will just use... Come on. There it is. I have such a problem with these sticky bags. I don't know if any of you ever do, but man, I just struggle. Okay, so we have that one. And then we need a little Tim Holtz person. So let's pull out a Tim Holtz person. Um, they're right here. And she has that little cute boy. I love him. Oh, I see another cute boy, too. I also like this little dude. I also like this little guy. But these are way smaller, so I kind of need the next size up. You know, it would be ideal if I could find that same little guy. But what are the chances of that? There he is in big size. Okay, let's see what I have. In, ooh. There's that guy in a, so he might, he's a possibility. See what we have. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about his face. Oh, I can't get it. There it is. <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So far, I'm leaning against this little guy. I actually, I think I'm going to just go with him instead of fussing around here. Um, we are going to need some kind of a butterfly, aren't we? So let's look in the other packet and see what we have. I'm kind of wondering if I put that just right. It can look like he's leaning on the ticket. I mean, it'll be the opposite way of the one that Emily made, but that's okay. Okay, I've got lots of butterflies here that we can choose from, I think. Yikes. Oh, those are attached. I could, could cut them apart. This guy. Too little. Got this one. Too blendy. Too much blends in. Oh, come here, you. Um, how's that? That's kind of cute. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to get these all glued on. Let's 
Sorry, I keep licking my finger. I know that's not kosher, but at the same time, I can't get a hold of it. <laughs> okay. Um, we can do glue stick for this. I think we'll do the glitter glue for the Tim Holtz guy. They're just so thick, you know. gonna go with that I think we'll do glitter glue on the other two <clears throat> this became a much longer series than I thought it was going to I was thinking I would just be I thought it'd just be two sessions, but I got a feeling we're going to be even more than that. Oh, I didn't realize that was that pretty on that side. I love that. Shoot. Will y'all come up? Yep. <laughs> Changed my mind. Wait a second, she says. We're just going to do that instead. <laughs> I'm going to have to wait for that to dry before I put it in the CD thing because <laughs> there. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Butterfly is next. right there. Yay! I love it. Thank you for those extras, Emily, so I could play with this. And then we need to put some, while this is drying, because <laughs> it's been through a lot. <laughs> so while that's drying, we need to put some mushrooms on there. See if we have mushrooms. Um, Bellasticulize. I do, I do believe I have mushrooms somewhere. I know there's these little mushrooms, but there's big mushrooms in there. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, look. This is like, I think these are little birds. They are little birds. I would have had little birds for that one that I ended up putting something else on, but that's okay. All right, so I do have a big mushroom in here. I don't know if that's gonna, that's gonna cover up the whole thing. That's not gonna work, no, no, no. So let's see what's in this one. I might have something that will work. It's going to be smaller, but that's okay. Now, how does one do this? I haven't played with this yet. I think you have to cut them out first. Which is a bit of a bit of a thing, isn't it? Um, okay. Okay. That'll be cute. It's it's just not quite as, um, you know, not quite as big. And if this guy is behind there, I 
think I want to go on this side. Okay. Let's see if we can get this off. Success. Okay, it's good. I have this pointed right at my body. <laughs> okay, our happy little guy, he's done. So I think I just need to slip him in there. And then I do think I might need to do a little distressing on the... Oh my gosh, I love that. That turned out great. Okay, I'll put my these little guys back in oh and then there's a word too there's a word so <clears throat> trying to think of what we want to do for a word I think I have an idea kind of go over those white stickers and they blend back in pretty well. Okay, so what we need is a word. And I think I'll, I think I'll get rid of these stickers out of my way. Okay. And those where they go and then what I'm thinking is where is my I've got my kind and we have for some good I'm just going to use this bit of file folder and Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stamp that off a little bit up there. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to cut that. Get rid of that. And what do I want to do on the end? Um, hmm. Maybe we'll just we'll just make our own little design. Okay. And I'm thinking because we're kind of we're kind of backwards from how um, Emily's is. I think we're gonna want to go kind of right there. I want to round these corners. And I don't love what I did there, so I'm just gonna round it. Okay. So anyway, I think we're going to just be opposite, opposite on everything. But she has some good washi tape there. I'm thinking she has two different kinds of washi. Let's see what we have. Um, This 
to see is this one. I've got one that's close. Okay, so this one I think will bring out the orange of the butterfly. So she just kind of went around the edge. This one's not words but ledger, which will be just fine. Okay. This feels pretty sticky, but I still think I'm still gonna ooh it just to make sure. Don't trust the washi to stay stuck. <laughs> so, then of course we have to lift up the tab because otherwise we won't be able to get out our little card. just wrap it and that works okay and then the word kind is going to go right there I hope you've enjoyed this little series I have just been having a ball I really I think I will come back and back to this project I really do kind of want that over a little bit so a little bit of the orange shows okay <laughs> we got that part done so that whole pocket is done now I have to check the time on this video and then but there we go so there is Emily's there is Gail's and We'll just put things back in the pockets. Oh my goodness. Okay. So she had this and she had this in this pocket. So we are going to do the same. She had that and that. Yay! Okay, last pocket. Let's see where we're at time-wise. How much we might be able to get done. Oh, good. We're only at a half an hour. That's awesome. I'm so sorry. I must have knocked you at some point. You are not where you're supposed to be. I hope my fat head wasn't in the way. <laughs> okay, so last pocket here. Um... A fun little tag with transparency and then this little bag and then there's stuff in the bag that we need to make so so we've got some work to do let's let's have this out and I have stuff to work with here okay so first off let's do First off, let's do this little tag. And I thought this piece, I love this piece with the red. And so I thought it would make um, a fun tag. And I am going to, I'm going to leave the picture in there because it gives it a little, do you see the, can you see the black? That kind of, I just, I liked that. And um, the rest of it's very light. And so I'm just going to put it right like that so we're just going to make this into a little bit wider tag than what she has that's okay we can do that right so so that's going to be a quick one that's going to be a quick one we're just going to cut this and turn it around and cut this and boom we have a tag right little tag shape could be written on on the back 
Um, and then she had a little music there. I'm thinking we might put some up above. I don't want to cover up the things that I love about that. So, so we won't do that. Let's see if we can find a little strip. I see one right off the top in my basket here. So, I think we might just, just kind of do that. Cross there. ink this as well. Okay, so let's glue on. Oh my gosh, everything has fallen again behind me. I'm stuck again. Okay, let's glue this on. give that a little bit of it an extra something and then I think I'm going to use the art glitter glue to adhere the transparency here. I have I have little lines that I can follow <laughs> which is nice. Okay, and then I just need to put a little hole at the top. Yeah, I think I have a smaller hole punch. It rolls it out, but not that one. This one. That's maybe too small as I look at it, but let's try it. I can always use the bigger one. Now, I think we'll use the bigger one. There. All right, well, that little tag is done. Um, let's see. So, oh my gosh, come on, chair. Okay, so this is Emily's, this is mine. And those two just go in, in that front pocket. So set hers there, I'll set mine there. Okay, one thing done. This is Emily's card, which I just have popped in there so I remember who did this. Okay, then she decorated this little sack, which also has some stuff we need to make in it. Um, so that's for that. Okay, that's another tag. That, this, um, she had just this little journaling card in. And so I had this journaling card that I made. And so I'm going to use it. So really, two things are done. <laughs> okay, so let's work on the sack. Um, I didn't have one that size. So I'm going with a little bigger one. But that's okay. That's no biggie. Um... And then she had lace and some of this trim. This is just, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Yep, Hobby Lobby. Um, and I think, I thought I had something in here that would work. There it is. Is it? Oh, it's not big enough. Okay. Well, I was trying to use out of my snippets. Let's see if this jar has something. 
because you know I don't just have one jar of snippets <laughs> okay what we need is one that's kind of almost, almost double I guess is what you would say it's this one this one's thick enough it's pretty and my bag's bigger so maybe but what's this gonna look like on it it'll be okay I think this one will be okay oh she did she wrapped all the way around okay I guess I could I don't really want to use that much lace but I guess I will what the heck okay so I'm gonna just cut that off put it in my other snippets okay we did that we've got that taken care of and we used up a piece of lace which is as you can see I'm reluctant to do and yet at the same time it's a good thing okay I think what I'm going to do is just kind of go like that and I'm going to use my art glitter glue I would probably normally use Fabri-Tac but my Fabri-Tac has sprung a leak and I haven't taken time to deal with it yet so <laughs> so we're just going to use it doesn't matter I'm just going to use this okay that around and this one and I need to put some here too to get the end so hopefully that will hold hmm. wonder if I have another thing of Fabri-Tac that I could at least put a little on that end there. I do. I have one sitting upside down here. It's thick as all get out, but that's okay. It'll still work. Um, okay. And then just had the had this across the front is all. I think right there at the end of that little leaf. I'm I'm feeling fabric tack for that too. Maybe this one. Yeah, that one's almost empty. <clears throat> gonna come out <laughs> need to thin this out there we go packs in my muscles Okay. okay, now it's coming out. We can use a little under the leaves. It's about to drip. Okay. I feel like the hardest part of crafting shouldn't be your glue. <laughs> Oh, okay. So then I have the red, the red to go there, but what to put under it is the million dollar question. So let me grab 
some of this stuff and see if there is something we could put under there. Mm. Ooh, these are cool. Bet you there's something in here. Bet you there is. That one's too big, obviously. So is that one. But I'm wondering about this one. If I could get the flower and the bug. Like that. Actually, I like that one better. Okay, so we want to cut it right about there. That was not straight, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because there's enough for me to glue. This one. Okay. Good, good, good. So let's let's put some glue just around here. And stick this guy on like so. Okay. And then I'm going to use Fabri Tac to adhere it on to here. But let's see. Yes, this is our best bet, this one. Okay. I think I'm gonna go up a little ways and have that lace showing down below. Okay, so we've recreated the bag. <clears throat> How are we doing time-wise? Okay, we have like 10 minutes. So I think what we're going to do, she had another little tag in the bag. So I think we'll make another little tag. We'll let our sack dry and um, I was thinking we'd use this piece of paper just because might as well um, what to put in it she had some cute little images in hers didn't she just don't know what I have that's that small. Okay, I'm having an idea. Bear with me for a second while I go grab my Mrs. Cog's images. I'm thinking there might be something small enough that I could just... <clears throat> Capture a face or something. Don't want those. Want those. Got the little, this little fairy one. And I haven't used it because this guy scares me. So I wonder if we could, yes, we could get her in there. Her and her friend. Yes, we totally could. Okay. I like that. Oh, I'm glad I thought of that. That will that'll be a good thing to use in these slides is, is just um, my Mrs. Cog's images. 
Okay, I'm just going to put a mark there, a mark there, and a mark there. So theoretically, I'd be able to cut this the right size. Good. And you, mister, are history because you're scary. Okay. I need to do this again because... So right out here. Okay. That worked well. Yes, I love that too. That worked really well. Okay, so let's do our glue around the edge of the slide. That's just perfect. Okay, um, do we want to put a little bit, of course I just threw it back in the bin, but maybe some, she's got some music on here, so maybe, maybe we should put a little music on there. Yeah, I like that. I think I'll just do it just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink that a bit. Well, it looks like we're going to have, let's see, this is part three. I think we're going to have a part four, too, because we have a couple more things, uh, or at least one more thing to make in this pocket and then to do the cover. So maybe I can get that filmed tomorrow at some point and we'll, we'll have ourselves a series didn't plan it. it was just kind of just kind of playing in between journals let's see this needs a little inking it looks like oh my gosh I love those little girls I'll hold it up here to the camera That turn out great with Mrs. Cog's images. I'm excited. Okay, we're just gonna put her on there. Okay. And then we need to poke a hole and we are good to go. Oh my goodness. Get in there. All right. I'm going to put it kind of right there in the middle so you can see the, yep. And I think I'm going to use my crocodile to put a hole in this tag because I think that'll be about the right size for this size of tag. Well, I have just kind of fallen in love with this whole process. This has been super fun. Okay. Let's just use you. Kind of see if we're somewhat in the middle. Yep, good enough. Okay, and whoa, just want to give that a little. Okay, so there's that tag. So, um, so yeah, let's kind of see where we're at on this one. So this one, we've got the, the bag, which I need to ink around so I can do that the bag and then we've got these two tags that go actually in 
here, and then the bag will be in back with all of its goodies in there. One of which is this little tag. But then we have, we have one more piece to make that is going to be super cute. And then, and then the, and then the cover and we're done. Oh, and then we have to fill these. So we'll do that next time too. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for coming along on this little unexpected journey. I didn't know we were going to do, but it's all good. So thanks everybody. We will just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.